Follow up on our conversation related to Trudeau and this brown and uh, blackface controversy. We got into a lively discussion and debated the idea of when should your past behavior impact your present? Is it the passage of time or the era in which it happened? Or is it just observing a person's behavior now? But instead of that topic, several of you wanted to ask this question. Let me show it to you. Someone said, I'm not trying to be rude, but what about people of color dressing up as white or Native Americans? Someone else said, has anyone seen the movie The Associate? Whoopi paints her face white. What's the difference? I have to say, it seems reasonable to say that there shouldn't be this double standard. Maybe no one makes skin color part of a costume. Well, what makes brown face and black face racist to some has to do with the history and even today, what it still represents. President Lincoln had just issued the Emancipation Proclamation, if you go back to that time, ending slavery. So you can imagine black Americans were anxious to build a life, to work, perhaps to get an equal shot at life. But what followed on top of all the discrimination was this. Minstrel shows, late 1800s to around 1940 or so, it was considered entertainment for a white person to darken their skin and turn black people into stereotypical characters, buffoons, overly sexualized, slow, lazy, and it wasn't just entertainment. As you know, what many of us consume in media, magazines, it impacts our culture, and these shows drove stereotypes. How would you like to go to work for me? Yes, ma'am. How much you gonna pay me, I hope? Well, let's see now. Mm -hmm. I'll pay you all your work. No, ma'am. I gotta have some money. One group of people made fun of on a regular basis in ways that hurt them in real life. In that same clip, he was called stupid and told to get a job. And this history is why someone painting their face white has a different meaning than a white person darkening their skin. Now, I'll let others debate whether it's racist and sensitive or something else. You can do that. In fact, someone did text saying, look, not every circumstance of painting your face black is racist. I agree that making fun of someone because they are black is wrong. But if one wants to portray someone like Michael Jackson because they like the way he dances, that's not making fun of him. It would be nice if we could move on. And you know what, I actually agree with that. Uh, now that we know the painful history of blackface, we can move on. We can move on to finding better ways to honor someone, realizing that our intentions aren't always the same as our impact. In fact, when I think of Michael, I do see his color, but there are other things I see. I think of the red jacket or the sparkly socks, and Jackson said it himself in that song, Black and White, I'm not gonna spend my life being a color.